Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing today? Uh, well, today is October day 11. I usually have it written down. I think it's day 11, and but I forgot my notebook, so we're guessing it's the 11th. But anyway, I hope you guys are all doing good, and hopefully you'll be able to hear me because it is super windy here. Uh, and it, it ended up not doing anything here except a few drops of rain last night and claps of thunder, and that was it. And I stayed up till 2 o'clock waiting, <laughs> thinking something was going to happen, but it never did, and I'm very grateful that it didn't. I wished it would have rained, but it, we didn't get any of that, and we did end up getting the cooler weather because it is absolutely gorgeous here today. The sky is clear blue. And the air is just crisp and it is chilly so that's the way I like it it feels like fall and so with it being feeling like fall I wanted to share with you a fall thing that i well to me when I look at them I think of fall but uh, I made this one like a week ago because I thought I would throw in a few fall things because it's my favorite time of the year and uh, so anyway and now the one that I'm going to share with you today is uh, a one out of this book right here this is a book by sarah zimmerman and i got this offline and i've made several of them out of here without you know with the acrylic and then out of my favorite which is the velvet yarn i think if i remember right i made a couple of the cat i haven't made the giraffe so i'm anxious to make him but the biggest one that i've gotten uh, that i've made out of here so far with the velvet yarn is the elephant and I, I love elephants. They're my favorite exotic animal. If I could own one, I would, but there's no way. <laughs> but anyway, so I ended up making something out of here. And it's actually one of my favorite birds. Well, one of my favorite birds. Uh, my favorite bird is uh, my chicken. <laughs> my red. She's right over there, so. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, but I ended up making it out of one of my other favorite birds that I love to hear at night. And that is, let me grab him here. The hoot owl. <laughs> I had so much fun making this guy. And I think he turned out so cute. And like I said, I made it out of the velvet yarn. And this uh, velvet yarn that I used is the uh, bird yarn... Yarnspirations Burnett Crushed Velvet, and it's out of the col Colorway Coffee Cafe, and I can't remember exactly how many it took. It might have took a whole skein of that plus a little bit more. I can't remember, to be honest with you, and I'm just thinking I might have held two of them together. Yes, I did. I held two together. So I had a whole skein and part of another one when I made him. And I found that yarn at Walmart. And so, I think I made a cat with it. That's what it was. It was that cat right there on this one right here on that book. It's coming to me. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to make an owl because, like I said, I love owls. And they remind me of fall. And, like I said, they're one of my favorite birds. And so, anyway, I, I ended up making the body out of that yarn there. And then the feet, I did it out did it out of the velvet, I think it's called the velvety yarn from um, Hobby Lobby. And this one is the mustard, colorway mustard. And then I did this one out of the same, the velvet yarn from Hobby Lobby. And it's out of, um, it's colorway pumpkin. Now this is uh, two strands of the Dollar Tree Chanel yarn held together to get the eyes. Oh, the sun's going to start kind of coming out there from behind the tree. But anyway, and then I gave him these little safety eyes. And I just think he's so cute. And he does have a floppy head, but that's the way I like him. I like uh, the rag doll type uh, animals. Dolls. Whichever. And I intended it to be floppy. Of course, if you didn't want it to be floppy, you could really sew it down tight if you wanted to. Like I said, I had so much fun making this. And I do. I absolutely love him. And then I'll show you what he looks like in the book. And I used a six and a half, um, no, five and a half millimeter hook. I'm getting ahead of myself here. I got it marked here. 
which one. If I can do this without showing. Yeah, let me do it like this. He is cute. Okay. The struggles are real here. <laughs> there he is. I think he's so cute. And I do. I love this book. If you don't have this book, I highly recommend it because it's got so many. Let me see if I can find the page. It's got them all in it. I guess I should have marked it. Here it is. Yeah, here it is. I'll see if I can get it to where you can see it. There they all are. And they're all so cute. Love it. Alright, well that's what I have made to share with you guys for today. Something fall. And I guess you could make it Halloween if you wanted to. You could make him a hat, like a witch's hat, if you wanted to stick one on there do that too i'll just have him sitting in there on my couch or somewhere where my cats won't mess with it i've mentioned how i hope they don't mess with my tree and they kind of quit yeah right <laughs> they went right back to it they actually got that little um, witch's broom and have been has been they've been pulling the yarn out of it playing with it at night so i finally had to put it up and then i'll put it back down just to get a picture so i can you know show you guys what the picture looks like <laughs> Yeah, but they still haven't messed with that cat. <laughs> guess they're afraid of it. Anyway, I guess I'm going to hop off of here. And hopefully it wasn't too windy and you could hear me and everything. So I, I guess tomorrow there will be another day where I'll get up here. And Lord willing, and I'll get up here and show you guys another day. And it will be Vlogtober Day 12, I do believe. I hope you guys all have a wonderful, blessed evening. Hi, guys. It's Angelia. How's everybody doing today? Well, today is Vlogtober vlogtober is it vlogtober or vlogtober i don't know <laughs> i'm liable to say either one of them but anyway it is day 12 i do believe but anyhow um i'm going to try to hurry up and get this done because it's been sprinkling off and on for the last hour i guess i was sitting out on the deck working on um a project and it started sprinkling so i'd get up go in and then it stopped and then I come back out it's back and forth and then I thought well I'm gonna do my video before it starts up well every time I would go to sit down because I moved my table over by the where my flowers are it would start sprinkling so I'd pick up my stuff put it in the carport and then it would quit I'd bring it back out and then it'd start back up so I guess it just didn't want me to <laughs> the rain didn't want me to do a video I guess but I'm doing it anyway <laughs> This time I'm over here by the trees and so if it starts up, I'll just back it up a little more But anyhow, I want to get up here and share with you guys what I made for today. Now, this is going to be another uh, Fall critter as I call them um, I think of these whenever I see them it always brings fall to mind and a lot of times when you go somewhere like Hobby Lobby or you know other places that sells fall decor There's always usually one of these mixed in with it and it is, get him all straight in here, <laughs> the fox. I had a lot of fun making this guy, and uh, I really love him. He is very soft. Using I use that velvety smooth from Hobby Lobby, and his uh, he's like a rag doll because, like I said, I love the rag doll type. Now, um, this is the critter out of the crochet critters by uh, cute crochet cute critters, and there goes my doves. <laughs> something something spooked them over there i don't know what <laughs> but anyhow uh it's out of this book right here uh crochet cute critters by sarah zimmerman well they're carrying on over there i don't know if y'all can hear that <laughs> anyway i got this book offline and my goal is to try to make all the critters that are in it and so this one's going to be next but i need to go back to D and make the dog. I haven't made it yet. I was trying to go down the line, but I had to make this fox and I had to make that out. But anyway, I just think it's so cute. Now let me show you what it looks like in here and then I'll talk about what I used. See if I can do this without showing the pattern. I love this little guy. And then yesterday I showed you what was all in here and I'll show you again in case you're new and you've been thinking about getting this book 
Oop, there's more of them. So many cute ones in there. They're all cute. But that's what's in this book. If you're uh, new and you've been looking at it, I highly recommend it. I love the book. And uh, like I said, I can't wait to make more of them out of here. All of them, actually. <laughs> now, I used the Velvety Smooth Yarn from Hobby Lobby. And I'm trying to remember, because I've had this one done maybe two weeks ago. Something like that. It was pretty much, actually, I was working on it at the same time I was working on the owl. And so I'm trying to remember how many skeins of the yarn that I used because I'm thinking I ended up buying another one because I already had two and I was afraid I was going to run out and I don't think I did but I went ahead and bought the I went ahead and had the got the third one just in case and I never did I don't believe I ever got into that one I think I actually used part of it for the owl his nose and so that's how much I used basically two want to get three to play it safe just in case your tension's different and i used a six and a half millimeter hook to make him and this here is that dollar tree chanel yarn and i held two of those together and uh, then i used the safety nose in his little eyes there and this is that um, velvety smooth uh, black yarn from the hobby lobby too Look at these little tails, so cute. <laughs> and like I said, I just love him. He is, uh, he is cute. <laughs> and so I'm gonna have him sitting in there with the owl and uh, do that, <laughs> enjoy him. But anyway, that's what I have to share with you guys today. Just another fall thing. So tomorrow will probably be something with Halloween. So anyway, I guess I'm gonna hop off here, hubby's in his workshop you might be hearing him over there making all the noise he had his saw running a while ago so it sounds like somebody's screaming in the background <laughs> but anyway i guess i'm gonna hop off here before it starts raining again and i hope you guys all have a wonderful blessed day and i will be seeing you tomorrow on blocktober day 13. Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing today? Today is October day 13, I believe. And so it's almost been two weeks. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's flying by pretty quick. But anyway, um, another cloudy day, another rainy day. But hey, I'll take the rain for sure because we're pretty dry. But uh, and when, when it's raining, it's just not, it's just sprinkling it ain't doing a whole lot so just enough to get things a little wet but i'm ready for some downpours but anyway i can i'm coming at you from a different area this time um got some flowers right here behind me i've got actually an old metal uh bathtub that i've got some of them uh, growing in and uh, my husband had a friend that had it sitting in the back of his back of his house and he asked him what he was going to do with it and they got to talking. Next thing I know, uh, it comes here with me. And you talk about heavy cast iron, I believe is what it is. I don't know if all, I don't know anything about tubs, but it's cast iron. But anyway, um, it's heavy. And I've moved it myself twice because I was going to make a water garden out of it, but I changed my mind. And then I put it over here and I filled it full of uh, soil and potting soil and all that and I'm growing flowers in it and it's this one right here plus a few others but they've kind of died down because they usually come up just a certain time I try to plant things that come up a certain time throughout the year and then this one see if I can pull it down without breaking it I actually thought one of those daddy long leg spiders on there but anyway I actually thought this was a ragweed at first and I almost pulled it when I was cleaning out my flower bed but it's got blooms on it and it finally bloomed it is a cosmo i had to look it up and they actually get six foot tall which i didn't know that because this thing is taller than me and i'm five four that there's another one over there it's got the prettiest orange bloom if i can remember i'll insert a picture to show you what it looks like but I, i'm super excited that i didn't pull it <laughs> and then i've got some over here that's called um oh goldenrod i'm I'm thinking that's the name for it and I almost I thought it was a butterfly bush which I'm sure those are butterfly bushes but I thought it was a weed and then a butterfly bush I didn't do anything with it and then I finally thought you know it's just a weed 
I almost pulled it, but something inside me said don't do it. Because I got to looking at the stems and and I just thought this almost looks like a butterfly bush of some sort. Again, you know, thinking that. So I I left it and now it's got yellow all over it. It's beautiful. I'll insert a picture if I can remember to do it. But anyway, back to what I was coming out here for. <laughs> got a glare on my glasses, I guess there. Um throw that down in a paper towel. Um, wiping the rain off my table again. I um, want to come out here and show you guys what I made for today. Now, the other day I was thinking, you know, I haven't made any um, Halloween dishcloths. And so I thought, I, you know, I need to get on the ball, I guess. And so I ended up making some, and they're by uh, two Sarahs. <laughs> and um, I had a lot of fun making them. I made one, actually, uh, last night. And then the other two I've made... It's been a little while since I made them. Maybe it might be going on two weeks. I'm not really sure. But uh, I actually made, I think I made the one when I made the treat bags. And I'll show you why here in a minute. Now the one I made yesterday, I'll try to do the one Sarah's, hers there first. Um, this one is by uh, Sarah Sash. And it's called a Witch's uh, Skirt. And I think she's called it, let me see here. Nope, that's the other one. I didn't write this one down. It's a witch's, a witch's skirt a dishcloth. Or you could use it as a washcloth. And so as soon as I seen it, I thought, oh yeah, I got to make me one of them. And so I used a cotton yarn. It's a Hobby Lobby. I love this cotton. And I wrote down what kind it is here in the middle. This is a lime. And then I held that Red Heart scrubby yarn with it so it could have like a texture to it so I could and so I held that together and then this is purple and this one is called glowing and I used a five millimeter hook but it worked up really quick and I actually started on it in the car yesterday and then I didn't get to finish it till last night but I really like it and I'm going to make another one in maybe change the colors up a little bit but i think it's a cute um dish rag and you know a witch's skirt the color of a witch's dress so pretty might do one in black and maybe purple i can't think of what colors they have of this scrubby i know i've got blue and i think red but i don't know if they got any other colors that would be cool i'd have to look at hobby lobby i don't know if walmart's got anything different but anyway that's what i made there and everything i show you i'll have it linked down below in the description box and hopefully i'll get the the information right because i know yesterday I, I messed up on what size hook and forgot to mention the brand of uh, colorway on the yarn i get ahead of myself <laughs> I guess I guess because I was trying to beat the rain. Okay, now this one is another uh, Sarah Sash uh, pattern, and it's called the Candy Corn Washcloth, or you can also make a pot holder out of it. And uh, I just wanted to make a dishcloth, but if you wanted to make a pot holder, I guess you could make two of them to make it thicker, because you know I like mine to be thick. And so, but I just wanted a dish, uh, yeah, dishcloth. And so I used a five millimeter hook. And this, I believe, is that Hobby Lobby. I love this cotton in curry. And this is that glowing and then white. But super easy to make. And it didn't take long at all to make one of these. So, I'll be using that. And it's got the little hanging thing there if you want to hang it up on your faucet. Or, or if you wanted to hang it, if you want to make a pot holder, you could hang it up somewhere to display it. For Halloween okay so those two are from Sarah Sash and she also has a, a video tutorials on it too and they are free on her blog and I'll put like I said links down below where you can go check it out now this next one hopefully I'll keep the Sarah straight here <laughs> this next one is by Sarah Zimmerman and if you'll remember I made that little uh, Frankenstein treat bag I made like um, what did I make I can't even remember now pumpkin and a cat and all of that and uh, I seen was got to thinking you guys know how I love Frankenstein and I thought it'd be cute to make one now Sarah's not got as far as I know I didn't go digging through the hole 
website, but as far as I know, she don't have a washcloth made like the Frankenstein. So what I did is I turned it into one. <laughs> now, I what I did was I chained so many, and I can't remember how many I chained, but just to the right size that you'd want to use to, you know, make you a dishcloth. And then I went back in, and I, if I remember right, I did like half double crochet and then single crochet. Yes. Make sure that's exactly what I did. Not in the same stitch. I just, you know, half and then uh, double. No, half and single. Got double on the brain. And then uh, that's what I did there. And I just went up, like I said, to a certain number for the height. Just, you know, you can make it as big as you want. But I thought this was a perfect size. And then did it all, all the way up to there. Now I followed her pattern on how to do the bolts on the side and then how to do the, uh, all the eyes there. And then I whip stitched in there. I didn't want safety eyes in there because it'll be a dish rack. <laughs> and, uh, and then added the little scars. So cute. <laughs> I had a lot of fun making this one because like I said, you guys know, I, got, I think I got y'all set down a little too low. That's better. Maybe a little too low now. But anyway, um, that's what I got there. And like I said, I love Frankenstein. So that'll be cute to use in there. Now, I'll put a link down below where you can go check out the uh, all the little candy treat bag. If you're wanting to make you one like this, you know. So, in the yarn that I used is Hobby Lobby. I love this cotton. And it's in the lime. That same one I said a while ago lime and then this is white and then the black all hobby lobby i love this cotton and this is their gray which i don't know if it's just called gray or something else but it's gray it's so cute like i said i had a lot of fun making these so now i'm kind of set for a few backside a few uh this rags and like I said, I'm thinking about making me another one that may be a different color. But I don't know. I might make me a ghost. I'm kind of thinking about doing that. Got my hair entwined into it, I guess. So. But anyway, I guess I'm going to hop off of here. I made this video a little longer than what I was wanting to <laughs> since I'm combining all of them. But yeah, I'll try to remember to insert some pictures to show you that flower. I'm really excited about it. I'm glad I didn't pull it out when I pulled up some of my dead ones. <laughs> But anyway, I hope you guys all have a wonderful, blessed day. And I will be seeing you tomorrow on Vlogtober Day 14. And hopefully the sun will be shining, maybe. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I'll talk at you soon. Hi, guys. It's Angelia. How's everybody doing today? Well, today is a rainy day, Vlogtober Day 14, I think. <laughs> kind of losing track. But anyway, it has been raining all day, and so I'm not going to be able to do my video outside the way I like to. <laughs> so I'm going to do it right here in front of this tree, uh, but that's okay. Hopefully it'll be nice tomorrow, but we'll see. They say more rain. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I thought I'd stay here in front of this tree because the other one, I've got it sitting way up. And, and this one here is actually one I had setting up first before I got the surprise from Ann with the one that she got me, my friend Ann. And so anyway, I got this tree last year, I believe on clearance at um, Walmart. And so I thought, well, that'd make a, you know, a fun little Halloween tree. And so I went and bought the orange lights and added it to it because it's got clear lights on it. And then I found these cute decorations <laughs> at the Dollar Tree found that one and then they had this one and then I found this one at the Dollar General and whenever the sun hits it it sits there and goes back and forth and you guys know how I love my cats and you know black cats and pumpkins like that they're so cute and they bring back memories so I have that sitting back there too and then this uh, stump that is sitting on this little pine stool hubby got that at an antique store Hopefully you can see that. I know there's probably a big old glare because it's, um, I couldn't wear my glasses because it was really throwing off. It was throwing a big glare. And so the lighting's going to be bad and I apologize for it.
and you'll probably see my kitty cats maybe if they get real nosy <laughs> but anyhow um wanted to get up here and share with you guys what i made for today now this one brings back a lot of memories for me um back in the day whenever i used to go trick-or-treating with my brothers i can remember us uh, you know going and getting this certain candy it never failed every time we'd go every year we'd always find this in our bucket and we had those um Oh, like you find now at Walmart, those pumpkin plastic ones. I still wished I had mine. That'd be so cool. But anyhow, uh, I can remember finding this candy every time. And so I thought, I'm going to make some candy for my tree. Now, the candy that I'm talking about, which these look different. They're not as big. Are those peanut butter taffies. They, you can always find them. They're always wrapped in orange or black. And so, and the ones I remember used to be a lot bigger and more round. And I found these at the Dollar General. So, I really haven't looked at Walmart to see if they still, you know, carry them. They might not carry them anymore for all I know. I don't know. But I found these at Dollar General. So, I decided to make them to hang on my tree. And so, anyhow, I got up there and I found a pattern. And, and Olive actually came out with this one earlier with that, whenever she came out with a whole bunch of them not even a month ago i don't think i can't remember but anyway i had to make it and so it's called the no so candy amigurumi and you can find it free on her blog here they are <laughs> i think they're so cute now these remind me of it because they were actually big and round like that not like that <laughs> and so i had to make these and these worked up really quick and it was really easy and there is no sewing except for whenever you, you know, need to finish off. And then you just add that little smile. And so uh, these would be cute too, just to make a bunch of them and put in a candy dish. There's my Allie. <laughs> kind of hard. She looks black in the, in the screen there. Of course, I don't have my glasses on because it was, uh, the glare on it was pretty bad. <laughs> But anyway, um, you can make a bunch of these and put them in a candy dish, and that would be cute, too. But I thought, well, I'll either hang them on that tree, which I've got more room on the back of it, but it's up against the wall, so I don't, I don't want to put them on the back because I won't be able to see them. So I think I'm, I'm thinking about just sticking them on here. I think that'll be cute right there. And hopefully my cats will leave it on. They've never messed with this tree. And now that I've said that, they probably will. It's like these things, they're motion sensors. If you walk in front of them or, or if they get up, you know, just put their paws up here to be nosy, they go off. So we don't have them on just in case like during the night. <laughs> I don't want to get startled during the middle of the night thinking, is somebody in the house? <laughs> Especially after hubby goes to work. <laughs> anyway, I forgot I got my little pumpkin lit up down here too. I just love this little thing. And anyway, I think those will look really cute up there. So if you'd like to make you some, I'll put a link down below where you can go check it out and uh, make you some. Because they'll be really cute, you know, like I said, hanging on the tree or just putting them in a candy dish. Now my cat wants to play with the candy. They're so nosy. I got y'all sitting on my cart. So a while ago, um, Woody was trying to get underneath it. And he is a big old boy. And he got, he made it. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> but I thought for sure I was going to have to uh, pick up the cart and take him off. <laughs> he does stuff like that all the time. There's something else. Never a dull moment with them in here, for sure. And they actually have left that tree alone for a while. So we'll see how long that lasts. Maybe they won't bother this one. Anyway, I hope you guys were able to see. And like I said, it's, it's a... Uh, pretty bright and then my phone will go bright and then dull so anyway it's just one of those days <laughs> anyhow i guess i'm gonna hop off of here oh my one kitty's fixing to she sees me in the phone talking to you guys <laughs> she's probably wondering how are you over there and you're behind me <laughs> cats are funny this is my woody he's sweet and he's big <laughs> here's his sister this one's luna She's a sweetheart. She's actually, out of all my cats that I've owned, she is the sweetest I've ever, I've ever had. She's very loving. She's a good girl. 
And anyway, I guess I'm going to hop off of here. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful, blessed day. And I will see you tomorrow on Vlogtober. I'm thinking it's day 15. Kind of lost track. But anyway, I'll be chatting to you guys real soon.